hello everyone uh, welcome back to this new tutorial and in this video I will explain how to download uh, the data from World Bank uh, database and uh, then format it according to the panel data uh, you know requirements um, when I started research you know I had a lot of problems and until I wrote uh, one two papers I didn't know exactly you know how to do it very quickly and efficiently and uh, so uh, now I think that uh, the people should know that how to do it and it's really easy and it's really helpful so first you can write here you know in uh, the Google search that uh, any any terms like World Bank uh, customize uh, data download right so you can search here and uh, you know here you are yeah world development indicators you can just click here yeah this is a customized uh, you know page and here you can download the data is per uh, the variables countries in database in everything right so first here the database uh, there are 85 and we have selected just the one that is uh, worldwide development indicators in the countries there are so many countries so out of these uh, 256 here whatever countries you want to select you can select for example if I want to select uh, the OECD countries like Australia um, Austria and the next one in the OECD list is whatever you want to just select you can select from out of these countries right so Canada is one of the country so I just selected these three countries you can select all or whatever and then uh, the next is uh, you can go there and uh, you have now you have the series whatever series you want to download from here so you have got uh, so many variables here uh, whatever variable you want to select like uh, there are almost 1445 variables which you can study for example let's have you know a random selection I I'm just the purpose of this uh, video is to let you know how to do it so I selected these three variables and you can check them here in the selected list you see these three variables I've selected and I can just delete out of these if I don't want them and then I can select any any one out of these right and then there is a timeline so countries I've selected three and then there is a timeline as well so for the time the years are here let's say I uh, do it for 2020 2019 18 17 or 16 okay so I close this now all three things have been done now I say apply changes and here is this table which is here right so first country is Australia then Austria and then Canada so here you have two options while downloading you can do one by one as well or you can do uh, you know this complete selection as well so first I do it for Australia data on this page I download this one in my Excel sheet is being uh, downloaded here I click here open okay uh, now this is the data here but what I want is for every country the years should be uh, on the row and variables should be on this column right so for that I select these three years data copy and I can make a new sheet and at the first column I right click and out of this here transpose right with the transpose now you see for the first country I selected that was Australia and I can click it from here and 
cut rather it should be in the second because so that in the first one you are going to uh, write the country name so I did paste here now this is the data for Australia okay and this Australia you can just select here and drag it down so this these are the years 16 17 18 19 and 2020 and these three are the variables for one country here years and these are the variables so for the next country also I can do the same Australia and Austria so for Austria now my data is visible here and I have selected for downloading this one and I'll do it for the third country as well so I open the second country's data and this one is the data for the second country for all these variables here I selected it here right click copy and the previous one okay so now in the first this was the data now I have to transpose this data like this transpose right so you can just leave the first column which is in which the names are there and you can just delete this one or you just don't have to copy this one now the second country is Austria right so for Austria I click on this plus sign and drag it for all of these right so my three variables in two countries for all these years I have selected now I go to the third country Canada and I select this download option here it has been downloaded and now I click open and now I now I don't select these variable names because they have already been given so I just select the years and the three right so copy and go to the first one and on the year I click here and transpose right so this country is Canada and then I click here so uh, viewers this was uh, the procedure through which uh, I downloaded uh, very quickly you know in an easy way the data of all three countries for three variables and for um, four years from 2016 to 2020 and I have uh, you know set up this data uh, as a panel data so it is very important for you to set up your data the variables should be along this all this line the, all the variables whatever you want to study in all the countries should be here on this line right and along with for every year for every country the years are here so this is how you can uh, download the data from uh, world bank website in a very quick way and then uh, you can do analysis and uh, you know as I told before when I did not knew this procedure I arrived at this procedure by so much test and trials and uh, uh, it took a, it, it used to take for me weeks and weeks for you know downloading the data and then compiling it up through this way so with very quickly you know you can do this whole procedure thank you very much if you like this video it, if it was helpful please click the like button.